Last week we promised we'd talk about pruning evergreen trees. And in general, evergreen trees don't need as much pruning as deciduous trees. First of all, if there's any dead, dying, or broken branches in the tree, we're gonna cut those branches out. Second, um, this tree here is part of a windbreak, so we want the branches all the way to the ground, but quite often people like to cut some of those bottom branches up. When you do that, you take several years to do it, but you'll cut a whole ring of branches and slowly bring that bottom level up. Third, this is a really good example of how competing leaders are, uh, are weaker. It's actually cracking a little bit right now. I'm gonna move this one out. Fourth, quite often these evergreen trees will lose their tops to insects or, or wind damage, and these main branches in the middle are not taking the lead stem. This one is. This one's taller than these two that are actually further up the, the trunk than they are. So we're gonna remove these in the middle so that this one, over several years time, can become the main leader. Although we don't prune evergreens as much as we do other trees, a little bit of pruning on occasion can certainly make them happier, healthier, and prettier in our yards. This is Hudson Hill, University of Wyoming Extension. You're watching from the ground up.